12 things introverts are best at doing. There's somewhat of a negative stereotype around introverts. People say that they're too quiet to have fun or be social. Well, that is a blatant lie. Just because introverts don't feel comfortable walking into a room full of strangers or making friends with everyone in a room doesn't mean they don't like to be fun or social. Introverts have some of the best personality traits they just usually keep to themselves. Here are just some of the things introverts are great at doing. Number one, having thought-provoking conversations. Introverts don't like small talk. The whole, how are you? Can you believe this weather? Did you see the game last night? Chit-chat is worthless. Due to their disdain for the idle chatter, they're seen by most as unsociable, and this is not the case. Introverts want to get straight down to the meat of things. They want to hear your deepest thoughts, your desires and dreams. None of that, I'm fine, how are you, talk. Introverts know that you have a story to tell and they want to hear it. They want to know your opinions and questions and answers to questions that are infrequently spoken about because of their deep topics. Introverts have a therapist, guidance counselor mentality and charisma, causing us to make you feel more comfortable with speaking your mind and soul. This is good for everyone around. Introverts get the satisfaction of having a meaningful conversation with someone without having to fill the empty space with chit-chat, and you get a part-time therapist, someone who will really listen to you and your thoughts. Number two, being effective salespeople. I know what you're thinking. What? What in the world? An introvert excels at a profession that requires constant vis-a-vis -vis interaction? Yes, introverts pay attention, care, and are comfortable in familiar situations so they can be confident in their daily jobs even as salespeople. Being highly cognitive people, introverts take time to fully understand their product, customer, and outcomes. From this, introverts are highly prepared for any unexpected events such as objections, crankiness, and touchy questions. They might not be happy with it, but they can handle it effectively nonetheless. Number three, taking care of animals. Introverts love to be swaddled in love and affection by those close to them, especially when it's our furry friends. So they do enjoy to return the favor. Introverts are professionals at taking care of animals, especially when they do it alone. You need a dog sitter? No problem. You need someone to take care of your cat while you're away? Enough said. Introverts have no problem snuggling up next to a dog, cat, bunny, or goldfish and spending a nice day together. They enjoy the company of animals more than humans in most situations. They sympathize with animals. Introverts can calm a troubled pet since they're experienced with calming their own troubled minds. They have a lot of energy and want to have fun, eat, and get their belly rubbed, but when all is said and done, they need their rest. Same, dog. Same. 4. Being observant. Introverts aren't quiet without a purpose. They observe. While you're over there talking about the latest fad or your weird dream last night, they're listening and watching. They see the way your forehead wrinkles when your grandpa's mentioned, and they notice when there's a new painting hanging up in the office. Introverts spend time watching and memorizing their surroundings and environments so they feel comfortable enough to interact with them. Who would jump into the darkness without a flashlight? Introverts prefer to analyze their surroundings rather than focus on biases, so that when they finally voice out their misgivings, these should be taken seriously. Introverts are the first to notice anything slightly out of the ordinary, and they're also the ones to be the devil's advocate and notice flaws in ideas and concepts. Introverts usually spend a lot of time thinking about the worst possible situation and how to get out of it, so trust them, they know what they're talking about. 5. Being great leaders. As are many of these points, this one is notably surprising. How can someone who dislikes abundant social interaction be a great leader when a leader's job is to lead others? A recent poll shows that not all successful leaders are extroverts. Outgoing individuals use their charisma and spunk to command attention and get things done, while reserved bosses lay low and observe their underlings and always know what's best for them, the person, and the situation. They never speak just to be heard or because they're the boss. They speak to assist and help others because introverts imagine themselves in quite every situation. Just to be prepared. They are careful and attentive, humble and prepared, and they're comfortable working alone, showing that good leadership isn't always flashy. So if you ever have a boss that is more on the shy or reserved side, 
This doesn't mean that he or she dislikes you or thinks they're better than you. It could be that they're an introvert as well and don't have anything to say about your performance since you're doing a good job without them.